Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. Well, this is halfway through the project that I have for the moisture barrier for the bed. So again, this is boat decking from my scuba diving days and it lets air through. So mold does not build up between the bed and the bed frame. Airstream was ingenious enough to put slots in their in the frame of the bed. However, where the headboard is, there are no slots. And that is open to the only garage that is in this airstream. That's my only outside storage. That area right there where the hinge is. But this other area here, I'm going to lift it up also. Um, again, Airstream has these slots, so I'm not worried about going all the way to the edge of the, the bed. But if I were you and you did not have these air slots already, I would probably take this material to the edge of the bed and then just cut it. Just trim it. And what I use is industrial metal sheet scissors. They're really easy to cut. You just cut them. It cuts it like it's paper. It's fabulous. Hello and welcome back. Um, overnight, I decided that instead of going all the way across, I'm going to do this in two different sections. The reason for that is because of the hinge here. Um, I didn't want this to go over the hinge because it was hard enough getting it back down and then for it to actually bend, I don't want to do that. So we're going to do it in two different pieces. So it looks like I can do four across, but I'm going to have to trim the back side of it. It's too big. I can't fit two together. So I'm trimming. We're going to fast forward through this part. Finishing of the marine decking for the underside of the bed. This dry deck, which I thought was very common for boating, it is not. Apparently, freshwater boats do not use this. Most everywhere I've ever been to, as far as boat wise, which has basically been scuba diving, this is very common all over the world. And I did some running around here in Las Vegas. There's a Bass Pro Shop. There are several marinas here because of Boulder Hoover Dam. There's a lot of boating. I went to th two boat shops here in Las Vegas. Let's see, Bass and the two boat shops here in Vegas have never even heard of it. I was like, what? <laughs> Went to three in Boulder City, right next to Hoover Dam, where they have all these boats and marinas 
two, never heard of it. And I even brought in the pamphlet. It's like here, this is what it looks like. It makes water and air go through. So that way the, the boat and any cushions remain nice and dry. So I don't know why they've never heard of this. It's very common and apparently for freshwater boats that don't ever touch the water and just remain in the marina, they don't need boat decking because it doesn't get wet. Okay, let me finish up what I'm doing here and we'll wrap this up. Thank you for watching me install the anti-mold layer in our bed and I hope you found this information useful. Thanks again for watching. Bye.